I mean, I'm grinding away here. I feel like my pocket is really small. I feel like my break point is really small. Good morning, YouTube. Um, it is a miserable day here in Detroit. It is cold, it is wet. So, what better remedy for that than getting hot in the lanes and striking a bit? Because we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to. We've got the final five games of Scorpion today. Um, and Whilst I was able to have a mini save late last night, um, you know, I'm definitely hoping for a much, much better start. Uh, as the pattern develops throughout the, the day, it tends to get harder and harder. And so you don't want to be putting yourself in a pretty deep hole with a couple of games to go. When they get super cliffed, carry becomes a problem, opens become a problem, so straight out of the gate we've got to have the right ball in our hand and then we've got to make some really good shots and um, if we can pop a big one in the first you know one two or third game then yeah that'll relieve a lot of the tension and pressure going into the final two. Um, it's going to be hard, yeah. I think the other thing that we have to be aware of as well is as it's getting harder for guys on the right side of the lane, um, you know, the lefties are certainly feeling it. They've got a really good look. And so coming down the stretch, um, you know, you don't want to have to be trying to outstrike a lefty for the final couple of spots for the top 16. So let's get them early. And then, worst case scenario, we can just try to hold on if we need to. We don't have to try to chase pins. So we'll see how it goes, but yeah, that ball choice is going to be pivotal. Uh, and yesterday, if you can remember, my game one, I had six, nine spares in a row to start the game. So that's not going to cut it for today. But if we do, and we manage that, we go into the top 16 bracketed match play, uh, which, you know, hopefully I can do a little better than I did in the cheater, should I make it. But again, it's a tournament within the, the big scheme of things, which is the World Championship. And so, yeah, we, we need to... The big day today helps not just for the, sh the Scorpion, but also helps for the World Championship. So that's the plan, that's the goal. Two more right hand turns and we're there. So let's get it.
All right, so that ball reaction uh, started to really fade coming down the stretch there. Uh, the pocket 710, man, how many of those have I left this week? Feels like a lot. Um, and the ring 10, both of those, you can just see it's starting to hook a little earlier, and so the shot shape was so much more blended. It's hard to get the 10 out. Um, watching the guys throw the first couple of shots on this one. They look a little tighter, so maybe it's still there. Uh, I'm gonna try one more frame doing it, and if it doesn't look good, I'll jump way left and see if we can't uh, string a few strikes together. A little different game plan today. In practice, he talked about wanting to go harder and straighter, so he didn't have to throw it perfect. When he gets into that slow curvy area, he's got to be really, 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 really particular. Um, pulled a really good first game, seven ten, and uh, you know the, the ring ten there was good shots. So uh, if he can keep it up the lane like that these next couple of games, I think we got a couple big games coming. So again, it's uh, definitely a different tactic than he than he. Did he, then he's used yesterday for today. Seems to be working so far. So hopefully we'll get a couple more strikes and keep moving up the leaderboard. Let's go. Right lane's hooking a little bit more, and the left lane's got a spot on it where it pushes down the lane and then it picks up speed down the lane. So I think he'll make some speed adjustments. I don't think it's a ball change yet. He'll make some speed adjustments and then try to get the ball to go through him. I think it's a good, it's a significant move on the right lane because the right lane hooks a little bit. He's got a feel for both lanes and hopefully he'll make some good shots and they'll strike. <laughs>
Alright, so that pair was super weird and funky and left lane didn't hook a whole lot, down lane and the right lane hooked the whole bunch. I left another 710, so I feel like getting to 200 on that pair was a save in itself. Um, I just got this, that, that pair anyway. When I start to see my ball kind of not finish or finish too strong, it gets a little confusing on where I want my hand to be. So I'm watching the guys throw the first few on this lane. They look a little more blended, which at least lets me have a little consistency down lane with my, my break point. So I think we're just gonna keep going left, keep trying to create that angle. Hopefully the pair itself will actually blend a little earlier and so the ball will actually come off the spot rather than shoot through it or not even get to it. consistent was hooking much much more um, got that huge 9th and 10th frame to get to 214 I mean I'm grinding away here I feel like my pocket is really small I feel like my break point is really small so we can complain about it and moan about it or we can just hit our spot 11 more times perfectly then get out of here
All right. The game plan was to get them early and then survive at the end. And we did the game plan pretty much to a T. So we started off great, got that quick 240, 250, and then that just allowed me to not have to press, not have to worry about needing a 250 or 260 coming down to the last couple of games, because I already got them. Obviously, I want them as many times as I can get them, but um, they, they got really messy, just so cliffed, and the way that I'm playing the lanes, uh, my strike percentage is really high if it's perfect. Like, I don't feel like I left a lot of, you know, seven pins or nine pins. Um, so when I, I got that ball perfect, all right, it was the ones that were quite perfect, where the seven tens were popping up, the light tens, and, you know, that's what makes this pattern in this building so tricky, is it's not always really hard to get to the pocket but the ones that aren't perfect they have no chance to strike you don't get a lot of like messenger hits or light crumblers it's either a split or it's a strike and that's how I felt like the entire tournament was this uh, this scorpion but we were able to throw enough really good shots to get enough pins and therefore onto match play. So we'll turn up, see who we're bowling in a few hours. I did, uh, I think, reasonably well this tournament for the World Championship score as well. So lots of positives. Now we really want to get in there and bowl a couple of good matches and see if we can't make TV and keep the momentum rolling. Excuse the pun. All right, match play round number one. Uh, cheaters didn't go quite to plan, so we're going to try our best to not repeat cheater and uh, start with the first match. And then if we get through that one, win the second one, and then we're back on TV. This is going to be a very interesting bracket, because for the first time in a very, very, very long time, um, the lefties outweigh the righties. And not just by a little, 11 to 5. So odds are... I'm going to be facing a lefty. And I don't know how I feel about that for one main reason. Um, when you're playing on two different sides of the lane, the only effect you can have on your opponent uh, is pressure. You can't... Your bowling ball no, doesn't do any effect to the other side of the lane. And so it's just going to come down to him and I um, adding pressure to each other to make shots that strike. So at least when you're playing with somebody on the same side as the lane as you, just through natural transition and progression, the lanes are changing and it's a bit of a chess match and you're, you're going back and forth with moves and, and ideas and, and not so much when you play a lefty. So... Um, he's bold. I think I'm playing Michael Martel, uh, who is a very, very strong um, match play player. And for the most part, he doesn't do anything too crazy. He just kind of keeps it in line, and you know, he throws enough hand to get to get good pin action. So, you know, I can't imagine it's going to be an easy match. So I'm going to have to bowl well, but. If I get on a pair and my ball sees it through the pins the right way, I've been able to really post some big games. So, three wins to get me through, and um, I'm feeling like they're going to have to be three big games to get there. So, nothing else to really say or think about other than get out there and go and do it. So, 
let's go out there and go do it.
All right, three and O, oh, but um, it was uh, far and away from easy. Uh, Michael bowled really well. Um, you know, he had a chance to win the second game, and that right lane, um, there was just a couple of spots in the front of the lane that he, we were talking about it at the end of the match, where he, he would just see just a little bit of early friction. And when you're playing that line and you see just too much early friction, it just gets offline really quickly, really early. And so, um, you know, he saw, saw that in the second game, and then he saw it again halfway through the last game. Um, and then, uh, you know, he struck out. Oh, I was hoping just one seven pin in there somewhere else. <laughs> just give me one seven pin. Um, and, you know, he forced me to get the first and the tenth. And, yeah, I felt like my fronts were starting to get burned up. You can, you can see the reaction when it really has this violent and aggressive move down lane. It kind of tends to lead you in the thought process of, I've got plenty of... Plenty of volume in the front. It's kind of pushing down there really, really smoothly, really evenly, and then it's really pinging off the friction. But once your ball starts to get a little lazier, um, it's just because it's starting to hook a little sooner. And so as it's starting to hook, it curves and smooths off. And so um, I knew in the 10th frame, after leaving the seven pin, I was starting to see that little bit of early friction, early hook. So I just thought, you know what? Let's just give it a little bit more air Let's just give it a little bit more time to kind of hit that friction and, and come off of it nice. And um, yeah, it still went light. And, I mean, it was a light, like blower seven. No, what was it? It was something. It was, it was a pocket, but it wasn't dead flush. Um, and so I'm kind of glad I didn't have to figure out what I was going to do after that because um, I think the next move after that would have been, you know, the really big curve and... Yeah, I wasn't really feeling it. I, had, I was in good rhythm doing what I was doing and I didn't want to have to change everything to do something else. So grateful to get the win. Now I've got to wait, stick around for a little while and then uh, see who we play next. Try and beat them. But we've got the W, so brilliant.
Alright YouTubers, we got the W again. Uh, that was about as clinical of a session as I could put on. I mean, I did everything that I wanted to do. I made incredible ball changes at the right times. I posted every single shot, made every single spare. Yeah, that was the session. Feels great to make TV again. Um, and this momentum now is just gonna help me carry me through the World Championship. I mean, Justin has he's been bowling incredible here. And again, another match where pushed me to, to the end of most, most games. Doubling in the 9th, 10th and 11th in the second game to shut him out I think was, was critical. Because I think once, once he kind of could have got a little bit of that belief at 1-1, uh, I, think, I think he bowls a huge third game. So I knew I had to get that double. I got that double. Got the third win. On TV, I'm pretty pumped. Scorpion has always treated me well. Thank you, Scorpion. All right, now, to calm myself down, call home, let them know the good news, get an early night's sleep if I can because we've got the Shark Championship tomorrow. So, no rest for the wicked, but this is the way we bowlers love it. G'day, thanks for watching. If you loved this one, check out the rest of the videos from this playlist or any other playlist. Make sure that you like the video and please subscribe if you would love to be the first to catch any of the latest of the behind the scenes and a whole lot of other cool stuff.